y'all. How's your mom and them? So today I'm going to start a new segment on my vlog. Um, it's going to be called Gamer Nom Noms. And basically what this is about is I'm going to make food for gamers. We know we like to uh, hurry up and grab things while we're in the middle of the game, go to the kitchen, run, get something to eat. Also there will be uh, themes for the different foods. So from games like Gears of War, Borderlands, Mass Effect, all those games, we're going to have some theme meals. But today we are going to do a quick and easy thing. Like a prostitute, it doesn't cost a lot of money and you get your fulfillment out of it. That was a stupid analogy. Today we're going to make one of my favorite desserts. It's my mom's recipe and it has a weird name but trust me it tastes good. It's called a dump cake. Now this is a great food for gamers because you can either eat it hot or cold. It doesn't matter. You just run in the kitchen, get it, and it's good to go. It is a dessert, which is good. You get a little sweetness in there. Now for you health nuts, this is probably not the best thing. We will make some healthy meals too. Don't worry. But today we're gonna get crazy with sweetness. This particular dish is really easy to make and doesn't require a lot of time or ingredients. It's pretty cheap, so we're gonna choose the level of difficulty as a piece of cake. Get it. So here we go. Let's get what we need. First, we need a glass dish pan. A pan. I don't know if they do you call it a pan? A dish. Just one of the big ones like this. Look, guys, for all of you that told me to get back in the kitchen. Aren't you glad I'm here? Do you have a girlfriend yet? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, next what you're gonna need is a 20 ounce can of uh, pineapple and a 20 ounce can of cherry filling. Now, if you're a health nut, I'm guessing maybe you could use fresh fruit, but it's not gonna taste the same, it's not as good. You're also going to need some yellow cake mix, got it. Here we go, super moist, Betty Crocker, you my girl. You're also gonna need two diabetes sticks, also referred to as butter. Now, I don't really know how long these have been in here, but we're gonna unwrap and find it out. We're, we're gonna find out, okay. So first thing you need to do is go ahead while you're, before you do this and preheat your oven to We're gonna say 350, let's do it. Oven 350. Look at you, go. Warm up, warm up, get it up, go. That didn't sound good. Okay, next we're gonna take our 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple and open it. Ah, I wish that was strong. It's happening. I always hate this part because I freaking smash me in the face. Okay, and now you're gonna, this is called a dump cake because you just dump crap in here. Here we go. You're gonna dump, oh. You're gonna dump it in to your pan dish thing. Make sure. If you don't get it all evenly, that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna make up for it here in just a second. And then you throw it away. Mm. Now we get our can opener for our ch -ch -ch cherries. By the way, I'm videoing this while the Super Bowl is going on. Do I care what happens? Not really. Let me roll up my sleeves because that uh, it seems like I'm doing hard work, but I'm really not. Oh, cherries. What a syrupy thing. It's not even coming out. Oh, there it goes. Got it. We're going to just beat it like a kid. Don't do it. Okay, apparently we're gonna need a flipping spoon. Grab the spoon and dump the cherries in the mix. Mm -hmm. mm, make sure you get all that syrup. God almighty. Mm. This looks like a good day at a blood bank. All right, throw that, throw that away. Now you're going to mix all of this together and try to evenly space all the fruit out throughout your pan dish thing. Look, I got pineapple on me. That was good. Okay, so mix it together. Make an inter-fruital couple. We don't discriminate. By the way, I'm not going to eat all this myself. I usually take things like this that I make to my co-workers um, and it will be demolished probably by tomorrow afternoon. 
achievement unlocked. Did you hear it? Okay. All right. Now, since we've got it mixed together, we're just going to take take the back of your spoon and go like this. Maybe you could go side to side with it if you want, but that evenly spreads it out. Now you're going to take your cake mix. Go away, cake mix. Probably some scissors would probably be the best thing to do here. Cake mix. So it mix a lot. Now you're just going to pour it all over the cakery area, the fruit area. It's not a cake yet. Now you're going to take your spoon, it's hopefully not stuck to your paper towel, and you're going to do the back spoon ground again. We're going to take this off so we don't go get any red on the top of the crust because I don't want red on top of the crust, god dang it. Alright, back spoon. Ooh, look. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but it's fun. Pat it down, we're going to give it a good game here. Okay, I think. We're ready for the diabetes sticks now. Remember, you need two diabetes sticks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it into pads and place it all around the cake. Is that excessive? Yes, but it's worth it. Let's look at this butter. I'm really scared. It's kind of more dark than it should be, but we're gonna use it anyway. My co-workers don't watch these videos, so they won't know. What better to cut butter with than a butter knife, right? All right. I did wash my hands, trust it. Now, if you have not cut pads of butter before, oh look, the inside's what it should be. That's a good sign. If you're not cut pads of butter, don't cut them too thick, but don't cut them too thin either. This is probably the lengthiest process, but it's all gonna be worth it, folks. Just hang in there. Check our boredom. Diabetes and obesity. We're cutting butter for America, America, America. Cutting butter, cutting butter, cutting butter. We did it! Look. Let me wash my hands first. Be right back. Okay, so now we're going to take our concoction of goodness. Push it, put it, push it in the oven. Put it in the oven for about 20 minutes. It depends on how you like your cake crust. If you like it a little dark, um, you can leave it in there for more than 20 minutes. Um, but I like it light. Okay, so anyway, let's put this in the oven. So there we go, 20 minutes on the clock. What are we going to do for 20 minutes? What's your sign? Have you heard any good jokes lately? Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. Let's check in on our child in the oven. We got, we got an it's in the oven. Oh, okay. That's cool. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to need another thing. Because I don't have the grip strength to lift this up. By myself, by myself, by myself, by myself. So here we go. Here is our dump cake. The edges aren't finished, but that's okay. Oh, my God. It moved a little. We're not going to do that anymore. Mm, go back to where you were. Now I'm supposed to let this cool off, but I know you want to see me taste it, so we're going to do that. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so hot. It's like be able to go pee in my mouth, but it's so hot. Oh, my God. It's good. Mm. Ah! It's good. Let it cool off for a little bit. Bomb.com, baby. Bomb.com. So there we have it, guys, for the first episode of Gamer Nom Nom. So dump cake. Uh, the recipe will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, we'll have some more recipes for you, or a recipe for you again next week if you guys like this segment and you know Brit happens it just happened to you <laughs>